Absolute magnitude is a measure of the luminosity of a celestial object, on a logarithmic astronomical magnitude scale. An object's absolute magnitude is defined to be equal to the apparent magnitude that the object would have if it were viewed from a distance of exactly 10 parsecs .6 light -years, with no extinction or dimming of its light due to absorption by interstellar dust particles. By hypothetically placing all objects at a standard reference distance from the observer, their luminosities can be directly compared on a magnitude scale. As with all astronomical magnitudes, the absolute magnitude can be specified for different wavelength ranges corresponding to specified filter bands or passbands. For stars, a commonly quoted absolute magnitude is the absolute visual magnitude, which uses the visual v band of the spectrum in the UBV photometric system. Absolute magnitudes are denoted by a capital M, with a subscript representing the filter band used for measurement, such as MV for absolute magnitude in the V band. The more luminous an object, the smaller the numerical value of its absolute magnitude. A difference of five magnitudes between the absolute magnitudes of two objects corresponds to a ratio of 100 in their luminosities, and a difference of n magnitudes in absolute magnitude corresponds to a luminosity ratio of 100 n, 5. For example, a star of absolute magnitude MV equals 3 would be 100 times more luminous than a star of absolute magnitude MV equals 8 as measured in the V filter band. The Sun has absolute magnitude MV equals plus 4.83. Highly luminous objects can have negative absolute magnitudes, for example, the Milky Way galaxy has an absolute B magnitude of about 20.8. An object's absolute bolometric magnitude represents its total luminosity over all wavelengths, rather than in a single filter band, as expressed on a logarithmic magnitude scale. To convert from an absolute magnitude in a specific filter band to absolute bolometric magnitude, a bolometric correction is applied. For solar system bodies that shine in reflected light, a different definition of absolute magnitude H is used, based on a standard reference distance of one astronomical unit. <laughs> Stars and galaxies M. In stellar and galactic astronomy, the standard distance is 10 parsecs, about 32.616 light years, 308.57 petameters or 308.57 trillion kilometers. A star at 10 parsecs has a parallax of 0 0.1 100 milliarcseconds. Galaxies and other extended objects are much larger than 10 parsecs, their light is radiated over an extended patch of sky, and their overall brightness cannot be directly observed from relatively short distances, but the same convention is used. A galaxy's magnitude is defined by measuring all the light radiated over the entire object, treating that integrated brightness as the brightness of a single point-like or star-like source, and computing the magnitude of that point-like source as it would appear if observed at the standard 10 parsecs distance. Consequently, the absolute magnitude of any object equals the apparent magnitude it would have if it were 10 parsecs away. The measurement of absolute magnitude is made with an instrument called a bolometer. When using an absolute magnitude, one must specify the type of electromagnetic radiation being measured. When referring to total energy output, the proper term is bolometric magnitude. The bolometric magnitude usually is computed from the visual magnitude plus a bolometric correction, MBOL equals MV plus BC. This correction is needed because very hot stars radiate mostly ultraviolet radiation, whereas very cool stars radiate mostly infrared radiation Some stars visible to the naked eye have such a low absolute magnitude that they would appear bright enough to outshine the planets and cast shadows if they were at 10 parsecs from the Earth. Examples include Rigel -7.0, Deneb -7.2, Naos -6.0, and Betelgeuse -5.6. For comparison, Sirius has an absolute magnitude of 1.4, which is brighter than the sun, whose absolute visual magnitude is 4.83. It actually serves as a reference point. The sun's absolute bolometric magnitude is set arbitrarily, usually at 4.75. Absolute magnitudes of stars generally range from minus 10 to plus 1.7. The absolute magnitudes of galaxies can be much lower brighter. For example, the giant elliptical galaxy M87 has an absolute magnitude of minus 22 i.e. as bright as about 60,000 stars of magnitude minus 10. Apparent magnitude 
The Greek astronomer Hipparchus established a numerical scale to describe the brightness of each star appearing in the sky. The brightest stars in the sky were assigned an apparent magnitude m 1, and the dimmest stars visible to the naked eye are assigned m 6. The difference between them corresponds to a factor of 100 in brightness. For objects within the immediate neighborhood of the Sun, the absolute magnitude m and apparent magnitude m from any distance d in parsecs is related by 100 m minus m 5 equals f 10 f equals d 10 p c 2 Display style 100 carat frac mm 5 equals frac f underscore 10 f equals left frac d 10 mathrm pc right carat 2, where f is the radiant flux measured at distance d in parsecs, f 10 the radiant flux measured at distance 10 percent. The relation can be written in terms of logarithm m equals m minus 5 log 10 d pc minus 1 display style m equals m5 left log underscore 10 d underscore text pc minus 1 right where the insignificance of extinction by gas and dust is assumed Typical extinction rates within the galaxy are 1 to 2 magnitudes per kiloparsec when dark clouds are taken into account for objects at very large distances outside the milky way the luminosity distance dl must be used instead of d in parsecs because the euclidean approximation is invalid for distant objects and general relativity must be taken into account Moreover, the cosmological redshift complicates the relation between absolute and apparent magnitude, because the radiation observed was shifted into the red range of the spectrum. To compare the magnitudes of very distant objects with those of local objects, a k-correction might have to be applied to the magnitudes of the distant objects. The absolute magnitude m can also be approximated using apparent magnitude m and stellar parallax p m equals m plus 5 log 10 p plus 1 display style m equals m plus 5 left log underscore 10 p plus 1 right or using apparent magnitude m and distance modulus mu m equals m minus mu display style m equals m mu Topic. Examples Rigel has a visual magnitude mv of 0. 0.12 and distance about 860 light years m v equals 0.12 minus 5 log 10 860 3.2616 minus 1 equals minus 7.0. Display style m underscore mathrm v equals 0.12 to 5 left log underscore 10 frac 860 3.2616 minus 1 right equals minus 7.0. Vega has a parallax p of 0.129 and an apparent magnitude m v of 0.03. M v equals 0.03 plus 5 log 10 0.129 plus 1 equals plus 0.6 Display style m underscore mathrm v equals 0.03 plus 5 left log underscore 10 0.129 plus 1 right equals plus 0.6. Alpha Centauri A has a parallax p of 0.742 and an apparent magnitude m v of minus 0.01. M v equals minus 0. 
O one plus five log ten zero point seven four two plus one equals plus four point three Display style m underscore mathrm v equals minus zero point zero one plus five left log underscore ten zero point seven four two plus one right equals plus four point three. The black eye galaxy has a visual magnitude m v of nine point three six and a distance modulus mu of thirty one point zero six. M v equals nine point three six minus Thirty one point zero six equals minus twenty one point seven. Display style M underscore mathem V equals nine point three six to thirty one point zero six equals minus twenty one point seven. Topic Bolometric magnitude. The bolometric magnitude MBOL, takes into account electromagnetic radiation at all wavelengths. It includes those unobserved due to instrumental pass band, the Earth's atmospheric absorption, and extinction by interstellar dust. It is defined based on the luminosity of the stars. In the case of stars with few observations, it must be computed assuming an effective temperature. Classically, the difference in bolometric magnitude is related to the luminosity ratio according to M B O L minus M B O L equals minus two point five log ten L L Display style M underscore mathem bowl star M underscore mathem bowl O dot equals minus two 5 log underscore 10 left frac l underscore star l underscore o dot right which makes by inversion l l equals 10 0 0.4 m b o l minus m b o l Display style frac l underscore star l underscore o dot equals ten carat zero point four left m underscore mathrm bowl o dot m underscore mathrm bowl star right, where l is the sun's luminosity, bolometric luminosity; l is the star's luminosity, bolometric luminosity; mbol is the bolometric magnitude of the sun. MBOL is the bolometric magnitude of the star. In August 2015, the International Astronomical Union passed Resolution B2 defining the zero points of the absolute and apparent bolometric magnitude scales in SI units for power watts and irradiance with M2, respectively. Although bolometric magnitudes had been used by astronomers for many decades, there had been systematic differences in the absolute magnitude luminosity scales presented in various astronomical references, and no international standardization. This led to systematic differences in bolometric correction scales. Combined with incorrect assumed absolute bolometric magnitudes for the Sun could lead to systematic errors in estimated stellar luminosities and stellar properties calculated which rely on stellar luminosity, such as radii, ages, and so on. Resolution B2 defines an absolute bolometric magnitude scale where MBOL <laughs> 0 corresponds to luminosity L0. 3.0128 times 1028W with the zero point luminosity L0 set such that the sun with nominal luminosity 3.828 times 1026W corresponds to absolute bolometric magnitude MBOL topic 4.74 Placing a radiation source e.g. star at the standard distance of 10 parsecs it follows that the zero point of the apparent bolometric magnitude scale MBOL 0 corresponds to irradiance F0 equals 2.5180210002 times 10 8 with M2 
Using the IAU 2015 scale, the nominal total solar irradiance solar constant", measured at one astronomical unit 1361 with M2 corresponds to an apparent bolometric magnitude of the Sun of MBOL, equals minus 26.832, following resolution B2, the relation between a star's absolute bolometric magnitude and its luminosity is no longer directly tied to the Sun's variable luminosity M B O L equals minus 2.5 log 10 l l 0 approximately equals minus 2.5 log 10 l plus 71.197425 Display style m underscore mathrm bowl equals minus 2.5 log underscore 10 frac l underscore star l underscore zero approximately minus 2.5 log underscore 10 l underscore star plus 71.197425, where l is the star's luminosity, bolometric luminosity in watts. L0 is the zero point luminosity 3.0128 times 1028 W. MBOL is the bolometric magnitude of the star. The new IAU absolute magnitude scale permanently disconnects the scale from the variable Sun. However, on this SI power scale, the nominal solar luminosity corresponds closely to MBOL equals 4.74, a value that was commonly adopted by astronomers before the 2015 IAU resolution. The luminosity of the star in watts can be calculated as a function of its absolute bolometric magnitude MBOL as L equals L 0 10 minus 0 4 m b o l display style l underscore star equals l underscore 0 10 caret minus 0.4 m underscore mathrm bowl using the variables as defined previously topic solar system bodies h For planets and asteroids a definition of absolute magnitude that is more meaningful for non-stellar objects is used. The absolute magnitude for a planet, mv, or an asteroid, h, is defined as the apparent magnitude that the object would have if it were one astronomical unit o from both the Sun and the observer, and in conditions of ideal solar opposition. In fact, one has to take into account that solar system bodies are illuminated by the Sun, therefore the magnitude varies as a function of illumination conditions, described by the phase angle. This relationship is referred to as the phase curve. The absolute magnitude is defined for the ideal case of phase angle equal to zero. To convert a stellar or a galactic absolute magnitude into a planetary one, subtract 31.57. A comet's nuclear magnitude M2 is a different scale and cannot be used for a size comparison with an asteroid's H magnitude. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Apparent magnitude. The absolute magnitude H can be used to help calculate the apparent magnitude of a body under different conditions. M equals H plus 2.5 log 10 d b s 2 d b o 2 p chi d 0 4 Display style m equals h plus 2.5 log underscore 10 left frac d underscore mathrm bs caret 2 d underscore mathrm bo caret 2 p chi d underscore 0 caret 4 right, where d 0 is one astronomical unit, chi is the phase angle, the angle between the body sun and body observer lines. By the law of cosines, we have cos chi equals d B O two plus D B S two minus D O 
s 2 2 d b o d b s Display style cos chi equals frac d underscore mathrm bow caret two plus d underscore mathrm bs caret two d underscore mathrm os caret two two d underscore mathrm bow d underscore mathrm bs p chi is the phase integral integration of reflected light, a number in the zero to one range. Example: ideal diffuse reflecting sphere. A reasonable first approximation for planetary bodies. P chi equals two three one minus chi pi cos chi plus one pi sin chi Display style p chi equals frac two three left left one frac chi pi right cos chi plus frac one pi sin chi right. A full phase diffuse sphere reflects two thirds as much light as a diffuse disk of the same diameter. Distances dBO is the distance between the observer and the body. dBS is the distance between the sun and the body. Dose is the distance between the observer and the sunode. Because solar system bodies are never perfect diffuse reflectors, astronomers use empirically derived relationships to predict apparent magnitudes when accuracy is required. Topic <laughs> example: Moon. Moon equals plus 0.25. Dose. Topic. DBS One astronomical unit DBO Topic three point eight four five times one hundred eight meters zero point zero zero two five seven now how bright is the moon from Earth? Full moon, chi equals zero, P chi approximately equals two thirds m m o o n equals 0 0.25 plus 2.5 log 10 3 2 0 0.00257 2 equals minus 12 26 Display style m underscore mathrm moon equals 0 0.25 plus 2.5 log underscore 10 left frac 3 2 c dot 0 0.00257 caret 2 right equals minus 12.26. Actual value minus 12.7. A full moon reflects 30 percent more light than a perfect diffuse reflector predicts. Quarter moon chi. 90 degrees pi 2 p chi approximately equals two thirds pi if diffuse reflector m m o o n equals 0 0.25 plus 2.5 log 10 3 pi 2 0.00257 2 equals minus 11.02 display style m underscore mathrm moon equals 0 0.25 plus 2.5 log underscore 10 left frac 3 pi 2 c dot 0.00257 caret 2 right equals minus 11.02 Actual value, approximately minus 11. The diffuse reflector formula does well for smaller phases. Meteors For a meteor, the standard distance for measurement of magnitudes is at an altitude of 100 km at the observer's zenith. See also 
Photographic magnitude Hertzsprung Russell diagram relates absolute magnitude or luminosity versus spectral color or surface temperature. Jansky radio astronomers preferred unit, linear in power, unit area. Surface brightness, the magnitude for extended objects. List of most luminous stars. Topic. References. Topic. External links. Reference zero magnitude fluxes. International Astronomical Union. Absolute magnitude of a star calculator. The magnitude system. About stellar magnitudes. Obtain the magnitude of any star. Simbad. Converting magnitude of minor planets to diameter Another table for converting asteroid magnitude to estimated diameter <laughs>